Next, I'm going to start working on the art. How you guys doing? What's going on today? Art time. Yay, so easy. How will the wall enemy work? Do you have a limited time to kill it before it squishes you? Yeah, that's you just saw it just about squish me. I'll show you again. I won't even fight it. Being crushed by walls thing. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah, where you can attack a wall. What's up, PMC? So, um, this wall basically just, this is how it works. It gets, it slowly inches its way to you at first. But then when it gets about halfway down, it starts going twice as fast. And then when it gets down to a three, like one, only one quarter left, it goes even faster. So, it's, it's this race against time. If you don't beat this boss before it gets to down here, it crushes you. And I'll show you, I'll let it crush me this time so you guys can see. Um, secondly, there's all these little these little flying guys that come across you from horizontally, so that kind of adds a little dimension to the fight. And then also, <clears throat> these, bl these big black bubbles here um, cause you to be, become fearful and panicked. And so you can't, um, you can't move straight once that happens. And uh, also, the end, the uh, wall's gonna have the ability, you're gonna see I'm gonna draw a big eyeball for it. Um, so there, you die as soon as it pushes you into the wall. Um, yeah, and also the this big eye, it'll have a big eye and it'll have the ability to shield itself. So it will, con it will, it will shield itself whenever you're on the edges of it. So it forces you to try and be in the middle where the, where the fear bubbles happen all the time. So it should be a very, multi-dimensional fight there's a wall boss in enter the gungeon see i told you uh, there's so many examples of this in pop culture like or in game culture and all that the wall monger Sweet. I didn't know Enter the Gungeon had such like cool. I gotta get this game. Is this a twin stick shooter, by the way? Is does Enter the Gungeon make you use two two analog sticks? I've never liked twin stick shooters myself.
Yes, the wall boss. See? There's lots of games with wall bosses. Um, that's cool. Oh, it's mouse and keyboard. It's a twin stick. Oh man, I would I would like it if it wasn't. But maybe maybe they got really good controls or something. I'll still put it on my wish list. You know what also needs to be on my wish list is Nuclear Throne. I haven't played Nuclear Throne. And Nuclear Throne also has sort of a, it's not a wall boss, but it's like similar. The very last boss in Enter the, or in um, Nuclear Throne. Okay, there. I think Nuclear Throne's already on my list. No, it's not. Yeah. Yeah, cool. So, so mouse and mouse and keyboard, huh? Cool. I'll I'll try that when I play it. Yeah, I got to get both these games cuz they're both like, you know, sort of action RPGs, but they're they're more gun focused, huh? All right. So, um yeah, I'm going to start drawing this this boss, this wall. I'm thinking of a big giant eyeball. Um, I'm not sure the color scheme yet, so I'm going to start with tones. It's great to make ugly art at first. Yeah, Isaac's close too. Yeah. They're all kind of like gun focused. There's very lots of guns in those games. What's up, Akuma? How's it going, man? Maybe it should be all black in the middle. With like really black in the very middle. So, um, if you're new to watching me do art, I always start with really crappy blocky outlines like this, and I put them in the game to see kind of how um, how they're looking as far as the tones go or the proportions and things like that. So I always start with the bigger things and then work on the details later. First comes the background, the, the overall proportions and things like that. So this goes in background, sphere, oops, sphere boss, sphere wall, zero. Here we go. See how this is looking. <clears throat> What's up, Disco and Liam Nursen? <clears throat> Better than expected, worse than hoped. Uh oh, okay. Well, it's called Gungeon, right? I know, yeah, it's, it's definitely a, Gungeon, a gun game, huh? Akuma, so how's, how's the Kickstarter going, man? Noticing so far is the overall tone of the gray right here is a bit is light. It's too light, so I'm going to start with changing that gray.
da, 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 da. Sitting solid. Which I greatly enjoy seeing, but I kind of wish it could push further. Yeah. So, uh, <clears throat> I hope that advice I sent over helped. It does look sleepy so far. <laughs> Looks like a sleepy ass eye. Well, I already know the proportions are right because this is how big it should be. Now I just got to work on the tones. And then I'll start with the color palette, working on color palettes. And then I'll start making it look like an actual evil eye. That is it's still kind of too light, but maybe that's just because are those broken. Now those lights are broken. This shouldn't be. Yeah, it's still too light. Okay. Let's darken that up. <clears throat> Been making adjustments. Nice, right on. Just give it dialogue which complains to you for waking it up. <laughs> uh. Trying to get user input, but it isn't working. Oh, it's Rocket Blade, that's not how you do a string compare. You need this function here called string compare, stir comp. It's not how you, in C you cannot just compare a character array to a string literal like that. What's up, Pedro? If you bring a coffee, it rewards you. Pedro, how's how's the interview going? The third interview. Now it's starting to look about the right tone. We got a nice gray here that's looking about the right value level. Surprisingly, the eye actually could be um, could be a little brighter because you're there's lots of lights, lots of light around the sides of the screen, but there's not a lot of light in the middle of the screen. So it would be nice to see the, the eye actually be lighter color. Perhaps it should be, that's probably too bright. It's probably too bright, but let's see what it looks like. Playing with tones, just playing with tones. Get the tones right, that's kind of the overall, and then work on the, the details. <laughs> no, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Yeah, so the eye is still kind of in in darkness. Hmm. Maybe if the the little light sconces on the sides were actual light pillars. It might be brighter. Oh, it's on Friday? Right on. You submitted your Bejeweled and they already scheduled a new interview. Sweet. Yes. Oh, that's so great. You got your timing right with those, those interviews, man. You could start a bidding war. Hopefully. So the 
the wall is killing those other lights as it moves down. Which is kind of intimidating in its own right. Okay, I'm gonna leave that there for a moment. I'm gonna start focusing on the actual evil eye part. Make this look good. I'm gonna start with a little bit of, um, I'm gonna play around and see if I can find some inspiration. Cause I know there's a lot of other, a lot of evil eyes out there. Uh, and by looking at some reference images, I can maybe get a good idea of what I intend for this without trying to copy anybody else, of course. That's pretty evil. This is sort of like dragon evil. I definitely want to go for like a cat slit eye. This is like beautiful evil. That's not right. That's just not right. This is definitely scary looking. Look at that. Wow. Tiny pupils. Oh, see, tiny pupils make you make things look more evil. And all this blackness around it. This might actually work, doing something really black and then a tiny bit of color in the middle. Red is kind of a constant theme here. I need to thank them for my childhood. Black sclera? What the heck is a sclera? Oh, I never knew that was called a sclera. Sclera. Sclera? Is it sclera or sclera? Sclera? <laughs> what, is, what does an I mean? At the front of the eye, it's a continuous with the cornea. The white outer layer of the eyeball. Whoa, that's crazy. Yeah, okay, I like this. Um, I'm gonna try this. We'll go for red in the middle. Pure red, deep evil red. Almost. Q3. Tiny bit of brightness. All the way saturated. What? Scara. Oh, it's like sclera. Right? I don't, I've never really understood how that works. I, I get the under... I, I understand the upside down E part. That's uh. But, but everything else with the vowels, I don't know whether it's I or E or... What's up, Scissor? Welcome. All right, I'm gonna start a color palette. Actually, this thing, this drawing needs a color palette. Ahora mismo. Here's a nice deep red. That's like, well, it's practically black. Um, let's go for sort of a mid red. Any reason you don't play background music? Yeah, I don't play background music because first of all, my videos get flagged on YouTube and for copyright issues whenever I play music. 
And secondly, I don't think it's, um, I don't personally like watching streams with music. So I prefer not to have music on my streams. You took a linguistics course once? Each character represents a different sound variation of a particular sound. Right. You, oh, you want a creepy smile? Huh. Well, maybe I can work on a creepy smile and, uh, and an eye. What's up, Cash It? What's up, Teeks? Howdy, howdy, guys. This, this medium red is actually kind of more medium than I thought it would be. Here's sort of a brighter red. I might get like an even deeper red. And full saturation. Yeah, that's good. Okay, there's a color palette to start working with. Yeah, memorization. Oh, I know. Yeah, if I played if I played songwriters music constantly, yeah, that would not be cool. I personally get really tired of music fast too. That's probably why I don't like hearing background music that much. Is I just get I, if I hear the same thing twice, it starts to bug me, even just twice. That's why I don't really like repetitive music. I like really, really progressive music that changes a lot and has very few choruses and things like that. So maybe I'm just weird. But um, that is kind of making me want to make all of Song Rear's music procedural. So the melodies could change, the um, you know, the intensity can change, things like that. And I think that's going to happen. I think there's going to be enough time in this project to make that happen. All right, let's see how this is looking. Besides the sleepiness, let's get let's make it a little look a little less sleepy. It's like afternoon. Wake up, wake up, I. You can't sleep the whole day away, sleepy pants. Sleepy McSleepstein. Okay, game check. You have a question, your seat does not seem to have a dungeon five. Oh, it does. Dungeon 5 is another secret. It's the cup dungeon. There's only a well, and even zero is leading me into the well, but there doesn't seem anything to do. There is something you can do, Tick. I'm surprised you don't know what to do there. If you would like, I can tell you what to do there, but I don't want to give it away. There's a nice surprise there waiting for you. I promise there is a Dungeon 5, and you can access it right now. If you like, I can give you a hint. That's kind of cool with that red. And the flickering lights, it looks like the eye is flickering. Ah, uh, yes, you know what to do, yeah. You got it. It's the cup. 
<laughs> Pedro would just ban people for no reason if you loot music. Oh, that's the only item you didn't try? You did? Oh my god, that sounds like torture. It's good? All right, all right. I'm glad you're okay. I'm thinking maybe this eye does not even have a lid, like, but I do want it to kind of protect itself somehow, so maybe it just, maybe it has no lid, but then it just, What if the whole wall was black? Maybe not the whole wall. Maybe the whole eye is black. Free parking! Am I rich now? You're rich! You're rich beyond measure! I'm rich, bitch!
this tone is like the tone right here. This is about this color. What what tone is this? 31% brightness. Okay, roughly 30%. Maybe there should be multiple eyes. Oh yeah, totally cash it, totally. We're on the same vibe right here. I was just like, maybe there should be multiple eyes and you said there should be multiple eyes. What? We're on the same wavelength. Why am I talking so high? Hmm. Lots of really small eyes would be a pretty good thing, huh? So like I was mentioning at the beginning of the stream, I want them to have an ability, the ability to like... Uh, to protect itself. So um, if you are like on the side of him... Actually, maybe I should do that behavior right now. If you're over here, like on the side, or if you're on this side... He closes his eyes. You can't attack him from the sides. Or you, if you do attack him, he just has a shield up. Nothing happens. Um, but if you're in the center, as long as you're in the center, that's when he's weak and his eye opens up. Yeah, I should do that right now. I should get that behavior going. So this is this buff. This drawing this corresponds with the behavior. Could be similar to how the acid boss, no wait, the ice boss does its protection. Did Retro Games Master ever speak with you? Their retro game blah. Uh, uh no, I I did not hear from them. That sounds cool. Right on. So, I think it's just shield HP. Something where, that's up with mode three. Oh no, that's when it's climbing up. Shield up, here we go. If that, if that, shield 9999, skin shield, animate, close. Okay, so similar to this. Shoot, we got modes already. I guess it's fine. Wait, no, it, no. Hold on, do I have, let's see, let's get these, paste it in here. And I want to make sure that AI um, system for behavior speed, if we can check speed. Yeah, if speed is, if speed is less than or is greater than or equal to. Okay. 
So I think I, I'm gonna make this fast, fast, faster thing work like this if without using modes, because modes I want to use for other stuff like this when he's like shield mode, not shield mode. So if speed 1.0. Oh wait, no, this is if speed, speed is less than 1.0, speed 1.0. This is if speed is less than 1.5 and speed 1.5, speed is less than 2, speed 2. Okay, so he should get faster and faster. Actually, let's make this really obvious. If speed is less than 2.5, if speed is less than 4. Okay, so there, you should just get crazy fast. It would definitely be cool if the eyes could follow you, yeah. No, man, no, don't, don't feel sorry for suggesting things, ever. Thank you for the suggestions. It's like, so coming up right here, you should about double in speed when he gets about halfway. Fast, okay. Fast is 1.0. And he did faster, but he never did fastest. Oh, that's only because if he gets his health really, really low, he gets really fast. Okay, cool. So that worked. So I want that to be 2.0. This one to be 1.5. So he's got four different speeds. He starts out at speed 0 0.5. He gets to speed 1.0 when he's about halfway. Then he gets to speed 1.5. And then if he gets really low on health, he gets to speed 
Cool, that's working. Now I want to shield up, shield down, so I can make it so the eyes close and there's that's kind of like is a, something effective. So if mode is zero, doesn't matter timer. If If target is near, we wait. This thing always needs to target the hero. Okay, it does. Um, if target is near on the X plane, we're talking about maybe a width of 50 pixels, and Y plane doesn't matter. So that's like 240 is, is max or whatever. Whatever was what 9999. Then the shield goes up. We got skin shield. So I'm gonna make a quick um, one single frame for this guy when he's shielded. So we can just see what this looks like. Your wall closed. So it gets the skin shield, animates closed, which we don't have yet. So that's a timer. Now we just go to mode one. All right. The wall tries to tackle you if you're too close. Well, that's kind of what he does with his um his his gas attack. So as you get, so the point is to push the player towards the middle. So as you're on the outside, the 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 wall closes its eye. It's invincible. And then as you get in the middle, your um the wall becomes vulnerable. But you become more vulnerable too because you're now right in the line of his gas attacks. Or those little bubbles of fear that he keeps launching and stuff. Animate idle shield zero. This is if mode one and if target is not near. So not if target near. Shield zero, animate idle skin. Nothing. Animate open if we had that. No need to retarget mode zero. Okay. So that works. Basically, all I want to see is if I'm on the left side of the screen or the right side of the screen, it turns black. And it does not appear to be happening. Oh, this is not. This one's not. This one's if. What about suggestions and wishes? Still not happening. Why not? We need some draw. We need to get the draw debug set up. Wait. Oh, dang. What happened to uh, saves?
Johnny Bug two at least. That'll show the behaviors. So it'll like have some text and stuff that says, "Oh, this guy just ran this behavior." He got shield. Up. Oh, his shield is up. Wah. 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 We got idle shield. Format your wall close. Maybe we need to animate idle. Down? No. Yeah, I hurt him. Okay, so the shield needs to go down. Why are you not down? If target near 50, 199. Oh, wait. I think I had that out of order. Yeah, the dark spot. Yeah, that's the gas thing or the bubble of fear or whatever. Yeah, so it basically that little bubble, if you get hit by the bubble, um, it makes you get fearful, which does a lot of damage after it's done and it makes you panic. See, I'm holding, I'm actually holding down the straight, the left key, but it just makes you run around randomly. Same, now I'm holding down just the right key. So crazy. So it's, it's pretty damaging because uh, fear does a lot of damage when it's done. So it's kind of a damage over time, and it's the and you're totally disoriented, running around weird. Okay, I'm not sure what's going on with this behavior, so I'm gonna set a breakpoint. Step through it. Okay, first of all, that was wrong because it immediately put its shield up without me even moving. And it's supposed to be whether when you're in line on the X, so that should not have... Should not have done that at all. Mode 1... Mode's not being set, is it? No, there's only one place where it sets mode. Or two places. Hmm. Okay, we'll start with the very first one, which should be should happen. 
it shouldn't happen at all at very first, because you're right in line with that already. I must just have these parameters wrong or something. So we're right in the middle. Target. Target's 12.11, that's not right. Well, no wonder, no wonder this isn't working. The target's not even correct. So if we get the target entity, what the heck is he targeting? Seer? Wait, what is this entity? Fly? Oh, it's the freaking fly. Okay. Okay, we're looking at Entity 1215, which is the Fear Boss. Target is Rock. Okay, good. Finally. So the vector starts with Rock's position, which is 210, 169. No, no, that's that's uh, that's the wall's position. Two ten up at about two hundred. Now we are subtracting out target's position. Got x zero. Good. So we're yeah, right at the exact same position on the x. There's a difference of one sixty nine in the y. Oh, it's because there's not supposed to be a freaking comma in the middle. Wow. Oh. Okay. All that, just that I didn't have the parameters right here. Whoops. That's the danger of writing your own scripting language. Sometimes you mess it up. You don't know why. Shield up, shield down, shield up, shield down. All right, now it's working. tighter. Let's go 40.
what happens trying to fight him now. comes out to be a, a really close win. That's pretty neat. Look, it should keep people, players on their edge, on the edge of their, edge of their seat. But something didn't quite feel right there when I was fighting him. Probably just that it's not animated yet at first. Okay, I'm gonna keep working on the animations and then I can work on behaviors and stuff later some more. Seems odd how it hangs over the lava. Okay, what I need to do is break through here on this on the visuals for this eye. Hmm, I messed up this animation somewhere some, at some point. This is kind of interesting how this eye changes with time. I wonder what it would look like if I added like sort of a pinkish color to this eye.
instead of like totally red. Craft an item that could push the wall back. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, that would kind of, um, that would kind of take away the, f the whole feeling, though, of the fight. The whole feeling of the fight is that you're, you're racing against time and you have, and you should feel out of control. You should feel like overwhelmed. You know, underpowered and overwhelmed. That's the whole point of this boss fight is to feel like that. So, it would be cool as a player, but it's really not the point I'm going for as the game designer. And I think as a player, you're going to feel more rewarded if you um, feel more rewarded from, from fighting this boss and beating it with, with the time constraints that it, it imposes. But it's a good suggestion. It's a good suggestion. Oh, and I should mention, like, before I had it that way, so you could actually slow the wall down. So every one of your attacks slowed it down. And it basically, that's because that's it had a certain acceleration duration. So it took a minute for it to accelerate up to its speed. And that's and that allowed you to slow it down by hitting it. Um, but it, it, like it, like I was just saying there, it kind of really destroyed the whole feeling of franticness that you get when you're like, oh my god, this thing is about to kill me. What if it were bigger? What's up, Azarus? How you been, man? Huh, there's something sort of nice about the smaller eye. There's also something kind of cool about a giant eye like that. Maybe you should get a tiny bit smaller, though. Maybe just a tiny bit. Tiny, tiny bit.
Low, low. Every time I try to rephrase my idea in a way that makes more sense, I get stuck. I'm just gonna give up. All right. Well, no worries, man. It, don't let me try. Don't let me try and like stop you from from you know suggesting ideas. I'm just saying that things have been tried already, in in regards to slowing the wall down. And it kind of just it, slowing the wall down with your attacks or any kind of items or whatever just kind of made it feel. It just didn't the the boss fight didn't it lost all its its mojo. The mojo of this fight is the frantic feeling you get. You're like, oh my god, I have a time limit. This is the only boss so far in Songbringer that has a time limit. You have to beat this guy before it kills you, and uh, that's that mechanic is really really fun. So I don't really want I don't want to do anything that's going to break that mechanic. This is 129 wide. Let's go for maybe like, well, maybe there. What's that, Mutinous? You just like the black and red? Oh uh, yeah, you like the, the it's, um, some shadow or impending darkness? Yeah, I'm sure though, I'm just playing around here. I'm sure that something will come out to me, you know, to make it look right. On the shadows, Alucard and Helsing. Oh yeah, that's pretty evil. Oh, this thing? Crazy. It's awesome. This must be some fan art. Whoa, check that out. That's awesome. The lights could gate the further it pushes you back. The lights fade. You mean fade? They already do. Let me show you. 
they all die. The lights die more. The more you get, the closer it pushes you, or the farther it pushes you back, the more the lights die. So I'm just playing around with like, with what it looks like with multiple eyes there. Not that any of those eyes are drawn correctly or how, how they will be or whatever. Still playing around with color schemes and stuff. See how the lights go out? It kills those lights up there, and so it gets darker. And then as it as it kills the lights further on. It's probably. I wonder if it's pushing me into the exit entity. Will will the fear area be based on the big eyes gaze? Uh, n well, that's kind of that would be cool, but that I've already kind of designed it where the. Um, the, the, it does these fear bubbles. So the fear area is based on the bubble that gets launched or whatever. What happens if you teleport out while fighting this guy? <laughs> That's a good question. You can't actually teleport while you're fighting, but um, if you're talking about using the blink orb, I should try that. So, like, you, you might be able to accidentally blink out of there, and that would not be cool. Okay, there's some things that you should always get killed for. If you collide with exit or static or switch, in fact, what is the entity that door collision static? Okay, so yeah, static switch exit. Let's see if that that helps it. Oh yeah, the, the fear bubble's location is always in the middle. So, and that's what's supposed to push you in the middle is the, is the eyes closing. So if you, so if I stand over here on the right, the eyes close or whatever. If I stand here on the left, they close. So he's invincible when the eyes are closed. You can't hit it. And then when you get in the middle, you can hit it. Um, but that's where the fear bubbles appear. So the fear bubbles always appear here. So there'll be some kind of animation too. Like the eye will do something to make that fear bubble appear. Let's see it without any lava. In it. Oh wait, I wanted to see if that fixed the pushing. Maybe the wall could have tiny little spider legs. Oh. Yeah, that's cool. Damn it, what the fuck? I got pushed into the... Oh. I don't know. I don't know why it's getting pushed. Uh, yesterday, this system worked perfectly. Every time I got down to the bottom, I died.
I don't know, this is probably good to keep those there though. But yeah, I let all oh, right, I should try and blink, huh? I should I shouldn't be doing this code right now. I'm trying to do the artwork. I shouldn't be doing this. Pissing me off. Oh. Yes, thank you. Yes. I probably should eat dinner soon, huh? I'm starting to get cranky. I'm like, why is this code not working? I was going to try changing, though, the area. So there's no lava. This might actually look better with no lava because then that then as it pushes you further and further down, there'll be more blackness. No, it's just if you meet one of the filters. Yeah, that's why I, f I threw on more filters. I was like, it's, it must be the filters, but it might be something else. I don't know. So now the wall, there's no lava, so there should be more darkness at the top. I just realized what might be wrong with this. Um, first of all, the entity, the player or whatever, could have um, could have an invincible duration, or I mean, an invincible timer. So let's disable invincibility. Um, disable any kind of automatic recharge it might have. Health, um, health, instant, instant recharge. There. So, yeah, there. Now, for sure. Oh, and shield. Shouldn't have any shield. There. Now let it push me in the wall. See if this freaking works now. The shadowy hand reaches out and yanks you back. was you just had some invincibility oh yay it works now thank the, thank the programming gods that's so much better I feel a sense of relief now like I just went to the bathroom or something <laughs> Yay, he dies properly. Success! Great success! Okay, so back to the making the art part. Um, I'm kind of liking how it has multiple eyes. This really is starting to look cool. 
but I want to play with the colors a little bit more. Um, before I had the whole wall black and it didn't look that good, but maybe with a lot of eyeballs already on it, it might actually look good. So I'm going to try that first. Great success. brighter so it's right now it's like pure black if it was more of this reddish tone a reddish hue fully saturated slightly yeah like this So we need to do some It's too much saturation here. This red should be more gray. More more purple actually. This hue is too light. If I push this down into like a this kind of hue, maybe. Ah, that doesn't look right anymore. What's up, Thomas? Welcome, man. Could be more sci-fi? You're saying this needs to be more sci-fi?
Yeah, I gotta admit, I'm kind of getting hungry. Um, it's kind of, kind of like getting uh, frustrated because I'm so hungry. So I think I'm gonna get going. Um, but yeah, I got a lot of stuff to play with it with here with this eye and making it look right and stuff like that. But it's not helping when I'm so hungry. I'm like, oh, I can't decide. I can't. I don't know how it should be. So I'm gonna solve this problem by going and eating and taking a break. And coming back to this later with the fresh head. So, um, good news though on today's stream, uh, I got it so you can at least the uh, the eye can protect itself now. So the whole goal of it protecting itself is to move um, as you move to the left, it, sh it um, shields itself, and as you move over to the right, it shields itself. So you're constantly being forced into the middle where these big fear bubbles come and cause you to panic and stuff like that. And, um, and then while you're panicked, it should be hard to fight these little guys here on the sides, which just kind of pummel you and stuff like that, so... And the whole time you're racing against time, to beat this boss. So, anyways, I'm gonna take a break, get to this later, come back with fresh head, stuff like that, so, yeah. See you guys, have a good night.